In this video, I'm about to show you how you can create an online course that is available only for your email subscribers and how you can set up the form so that people subscribe to, me, to your email list and also create an account to get access to this free account. Now, all of this is done with Thrive Apprentice and Thrive Architect. Hi, my name is Hanne and let's dive right in. Here I'm in Thrive Apprentice and as you can see, I have a an, an course set up here. And if we go into access restrictions, I gave it a rule. So let me just delete it. I'll do it again to show you. We added the rule and here I have send all set up. So I have send all options, but if you don't have this set up, you will only see the WordPress rule. So from here, click a WordPress rule and give it the subscriber um, role. So this means that when people get added as a subscriber to your WordPress website, they will get access to this course. Now, the question is, how do people become subscribers of your website? And for that, you need an opt-in form, or actually you need a form that registers these users as subscribers. And at the same time, we want this to be an opt-in form because we want people to get to add it to our newsletter. So let's create a new page. So pages and new page. Let's call this free video course and launch Drive Architect. From here, you have two choices. You can either add a lead generation element in here. So you just drop the element on the page or you can use one of our landing pages and then you will immediately have a nicely designed page. So that's what I'm going to do here. So go into our change template and pick a landing page. Now here, I like this landing page. So I quickly uh, customized this landing page to fit our need. I changed the title and here I'm explaining to people that they have to create an account to get access to the course and also that they get added to our newsletter because we want to make sure that people know that they get added just to make sure that we are GDPR compliant. So from here, we can click on this uh, opt-in form. And so you can see here, we have connect form to service. The first thing that you want to do is connect this form with your email provider. So let's connect it to service. If you have your email provider already set up, it's easy. You just click on it. If not, you can see here, add new API connections. This will bring you to the API dashboard within your Thrive dashboard. And from here, you will be able to add a new connection. Now, if you need any help with that, we have a lot of tutorials for every API connection possible on how to find these API keys. So that shouldn't be too much of a burden. So now let's select our email provider. Here we can say that the people who get added to our list, for example, this is for our free uh, style course. We want to add for the email and the name. And then what we want to do is after somebody signs up, we want to send them immediately to our course. So let's redirect them to a custom URL from here. Um, let's find our um, Thrive Apprentice course. So I could have copied that URL before. I just forgot about it. So now from here, uh, we can preview the course and this gives us uh, the URL. So we want people to go to this URL so that they then can immediately start the course, right? So from here and also say autofill form input so that they are logged in. Let's save this. Now, at this point, people would just go to your email list and they would not have created a WordPress account. And so they would actually not get access to the course. So there is an extra step to set this up. Now you have to go here into advanced and then connect to multiple services. So when you do this, you have also the WordPress account in case you don't see WordPress account here. Do the same, add your API connection. And this is really, really super easy because the moment that you add a new API connection, and um, I can just even just delete this to show you how easy this is. Let's add a new one. So WordPress and just say connect. So that's it. This is done. And now we have the WordPress account here, right? So it's really one click. 
and you want people to be subscribed as a subscriber. So make sure this is subscriber. You don't want to give people like editor or contributor or admin role. Absolutely not. You might have other um, roles in here and that is probably added by another plugin. So this might be added by another membership plugin actually. But for this case, let's just talk about the subscriber role. So add as a subscriber. And then here now it's important. So we ask for the email. We also want to ask for a first name. Now this is just um, personal preferences. But then the very important thing is that we want to ask for a password. So here let's tell people that they have to choose their password. And then we want them to confirm that password. So something like confirm chosen password, right? All right. And now we can see it's still redirected to our course. So that's good. Now let's save this and preview. So as you can see, we have this nice looking landing page and here we have a form that is asking for the email, the name, and then to choose a password and to confirm the chosen, I forgot an end there, uh, password. So this allows people to sign up to your website and when they sign up, they will go to the course. So let me quickly show you what this looks like when we're in incognito mode. So when somebody comes to our page, when somebody comes to our website, who's not logged in, right? and subscribe. So now they are sent immediately to this course. They are logged in so they can actually see the course. When they now go to the courses overview page, you can see that for subscribers only, so they will have access to the subscribers only course. But when they go to the premium course, they will still not have access because they haven't paid yet, right? And this premium course, this is related to um, Sendall if you're using Sendall. So from here or another membership plugin. And then you can say, click here to buy the product, which would then send people to the um, sales page. From there, they can buy. And as you can see, they will automatically be logged in and sent to the checkout page. So this is a big advantage. If you have people who uh, sign up for a free course and then you can have this, um, this funnel set up for the paid courses. So that is a good way to get people into your paid courses, but also you can simply use this for uh, email marketing and so to get people onto your email list with a free course. And so that's how you can easily create a video course for your email subscribers and make sure that at the same time they create a WordPress account and they get added to your email list. I hope this helps and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them below.